Wrestling Refreshing Springs Battle Screen. Yeah. I'm almost done. Just bear with me. And the Lord gave the people faith. And the letter, are you reading it? Verse number 36. How many people are there? How many people are there? Are you in your mouth? You don't have time to just be connected to anyone who doesn't want to suffer with you. Because I found in the Bible that the Bible now declares and says this. Jesus now said, God says this, that if you would reign with me, that you would do what? You would 
suffer with me, you will do what? You will. So this is the season that God just wants to see. Is there anybody in here huh, that just wants to suffer for what you're about to get? Huh? It's been worth going through the hell that you've been going through. Huh? Matter of fact, I'm so glad that you've been crying. Huh? Matter of fact, I'm so glad that you've been disgusted. Matter of fact, I'm so glad that you almost lost your mind. Huh? I'm so glad that your neighbor talked about you. Huh? I'm so glad that your saint in the church talked about you, prayed for you, and did this. Put you in a ditch, but baby, you got to learn how to thank God for your ditch situation. I'm so glad, I'm so glad, as I stand here six five and my head to tell you, I'm so glad you went through what you went through, because this is the season that God's going to show you favor. That's the reason why you got to know who you are. You got to know who you are in God to the point where you can tell an individual. In order for you to be connected to me, you got to know not just the height of me, but you got to know the depth of me first. Because you got to be able to handle me. I'm just not somebody, I'm not just a novice to suffering. I'm not just a novice to my anointing. I've been through some things in order to be anointed. You're not looking at somebody who woke up on Facebook or YouTube or called the one number yes some of you all have huh? and you have not uh, you're not the one huh, that has been through or has not been through a situation that you have not been a conqueror huh? that's the reason why you got to know in this season that God is working some things out on your behalf huh? I know that it doesn't even look like it is huh? I know that it looks like as if you've been struggling and you've been struggling and you've been struggling huh? but God just wants to see can I trust you with what I'm about to give you to see if he can trust you huh, when you can't trace him. Huh? He wants to tr see if you can trust him and believe him. Huh? What well, the scripture says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall do what? Direct your path. Huh? He wants to see if you can fulfill the scripture. Oh, it says that he that dwelleth in the secret place. Huh? Just do this and say, I'm in the secret place. Huh? Uh -huh. That's the reason why you think I should act a certain way because I have learned how to act retarded. Huh? I've learned how to act retarded so my enemies cannot find me. What do you mean, preacher? You calling me retarded? No, I'm not. I'm trying to give you an example that the reason why the Philistines couldn't kill David because he learned how to act retarded. In the cave of Adam. Sometimes God wants to put you in a cave so that you can learn how to change your disposition. We understand that this is a season that God, God wants to see, can you act retarded? Uh, can you act as if you have no sense? Can you act as if God, you, it is as if you have schizophrenia or Tourette's syndrome? And I'm not trying to make fun of those who are suffering, but I'm trying to talk about, can you say, and can you, you just act? Crazy. Yeah. And when, he sits, when the enemy tries to come and see, oh, he's looking for Stanley. That's not Stanley because Stanley's drooling on himself. Huh? The Bible now said that David acts so retarded huh? 